Hello and welcome back to KMAC Talks Recovery. Uh, this is the only place where we merge, uh, you know, comedy with recovery and uh, realize that it's not always so serious. It is very serious. This is a life and death uh, disease or whatever you'd like to call it, but it's a life or death situation. A lot of people who relapse aren't going to make it back from that. But I like to, as a comedian, I like to at least try to make you guys laugh here. And I do sports also, so we merge sports, recovery, and comedy. Because what's better than when you're recovering than watching sports and uh, fantasy football and and laughing? They're all key components that I think will blend very well on this on this OnlyFans site. And um, I'll still do some YouTube stuff too. But you know, I'm broke out here. <laughs> Help me out <laughs> now. But I just enjoy. I do this to hopefully help. Uh, people out there um, and today yesterday I talked about gratitude and everything we have to be thankful for because there's tons of things in recovery you may not seem like you have anything to be thankful for your life may seem like it's ruined and uh, over as you knew it but it's not you have plenty to be grateful for and it's just about finding the simple things to be grateful for and then you know figuring out from there Hey, I got a lot more stuff I, I'm actually grateful for. So, uh, you uh, no matter if you think you don't, you have a lot to be grateful for. But depression is, uh, you know, something that's not going to go away. That's, a, that's just reality of it in recovery. You know, we are coming down from being high for whatever, six months, a year, five years, ten years, whatever it is, when you enter recovery, you're gonna be a little depressed uh you know you're gonna start to come to reality and realize the things you did and be like oh my god i really said that to my family member it's my friend i really did that i really stole that i really you're gonna just start to realize and your you know your conscience is coming back uh the drugs aren't controlling you anymore so you're realizing oh my god that i can't believe i did that i'm not that kind of person you know i'm 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 better than that and uh, but now you have to live with the actions and the things you did. And that uh, caused me a lot of depression. I know it did and still still does to this day. So that's, that's just, that's something I'm gonna talk about today is living with the shame, the guilt of, of your actions in your active addiction. Um, how do you live with that? Uh, you know, how do you not let the depression of that take over your life to where, you know, uh, the depression is all that controls you you're a negative person you're just depressed all the time because you can't live with the fact that hey you stole from your grandparents and now you can't even apologize to them because they're gone or you know you made your your parents life a living hell for years you made your parents think that they they taught you wrong they raised you wrong you know they you, you make them doubt their even how good they are as parents when they in actuality they're tremendous they, they did the best they could and more they were terrific parents they raised you great then there was no mistakes there at all so but you have them doubting that they they did the right things and you know and it, there's so many things that yeah you're you can be depressed about it it could be you're a felon it could be uh you know your credit score is fucked it could be you know you can't get a banking account whatever it is there's so many things that we do that we ruin in addiction that you know we're going to be feeling those consequences for years to come i know i am a felon and i think it's 10 years i the earliest i heard is like seven years i could get that going um so i'm still about a year out if it is seven but uh you know you're going to be feeling the consequences of your actions they're not just going to go away magically oh you get clean and you know they give you a check and now you have money and you're not you know you're not in debt anymore and everyone trusts you again immediately you know you get out of a 30-day rehab and your parents are like i trust you with everything now uh you know you're back we forgive you you know you're not going to get forgiveness right away you're definitely not going to get trust right away and you have to work for that and you could either be depressed about it or face that this is this is the punishment this is the karmic debt I did bad things and I just can't expect to receive great things in return automatically. I did all these terrible things, so I'm going to need to be punished a little bit. I mean, that's the point of a jail system. You know, you murder someone, 
you don't just hey it's okay you, you know maybe next time we'll punish you but you get away with this one no when you do something bad you get punished for it you know in a hopefully equal way you know it, we'd like to think the jail system is perfect but it's not but karmic debt i think is pretty if you do bad things you know you're gonna get i think equally bad things in the future are gonna happen to you and that's just something you need to accept and I think what's helped, have helped me deal with my depression and shame and guilt and everything is, you know, making it a, a, a point, an issue to prove that you're clean and to gain that trust back. It could be, you know, your driving force. Instead of being depressed about it, take it as a challenge right now. Like, I love that quote, you know, if you get knocked back down, you know, are you going to, it shows how big you know, how good of a person, or how strong of a person you are mentally, and not even physically, mentally, you know, if you get knocked down, you hit rock bottom, you whatever, you uh, lose all your money, you go to jail, are you going to stay down and be depressed, or are you going to show people you get back up, and you fight your hardest, and do everything you can to get back up, prove people wrong, however you want to put it, uh, you know, use proving people people count you out and say you'll be an addict forever or never going to get your trust back whatever it, make it a thing that i want to prove them wrong now you know but do it for yourself don't just do it for them do it for your own self first i can't believe this guy is ringing that bell clearly we don't want your ice cream we would have gone there before you gotta ring at the whole park <laughs> anyways uh Oh, wait, I changed my mind now that you rang it that 800th time. All right, anyways. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I like to... Okay, I made all these mistakes. I have this reputation. My parents don't trust me. My family members don't trust me. Okay, let's let's show them that I'm not going to stay down, be depressed, and relapse or all that. I'm going to prove them wrong. Or, you know, like I said, do it for yourself at first because it's in the end, you know, it is a selfish part. you got to get clean for you. And you gotta, you gotta want a better life for yourself. You can't do it for someone else, you know. Maybe, yeah, you can do it partially for a child or your child. But do it for yourself first. Because, you know, that's, that's the only way you're gonna stay clean. Like, if you rely on someone else and something happens with them and you don't have them to, you know, to prove wrong anymore, so you might fall apart. Just do it for yourself. But make it a, a, a point to show people i'm doing you know i'm doing great things still my life maybe yeah I'm, I'm a felon my credit's ruined my what but i'm still gonna get out here and i'm gonna try even though it's 10 years after i graduated college i'm still gonna try to be a video editor and cinematographer and still gonna do the career i always wanted and dreamed of i'm still gonna do that and i'm gonna do it to the best of my ability and i'm gonna show you guys whether you like it or not i am gonna make it in this life you know, I, I'm not done, I'm not down and out, I'm not knocked out. You gotta be like Rocky, you gotta get back, keep getting back up, no matter how many times you get punched down, no matter how many rock bottoms, you could choose one time to get back up and that'll be for good. And I, I just like to say, I mean, my grandparents, I can't apologize to them, but they're looking down on me right now. They're looking down and seeing me live a better life and that's the only way I can apologize to them right now. I can't physically do it in front of their face. The only way I can apologize to them is by living a good life here. And I like to think they're watching that and helping me and guiding me. That's the only way to apologize to certain people is just to live your best life, do your best every single day, work hard on make it, getting better as a human being, mentally, physically, whatever. You wanna work out, you wanna go back to school. Just you know, show people you're trustworthy again. It's gonna take a lot to gain that trust if you broke it for 10 years, it might take 10 years, but never give up on it. Show them every day that you're here to stay. You're clean now. You want that trust back. And that's the only way. I mean, make that depression that cannot defeat you if you don't let it. I mean, it will defeat you if you just let yourself lay in bed and be sad and all that. But if you don't let it, you get out there and just try to achieve something each day. Set one goal and achieve that goal for the day whatever set the weekly goals achieve those goals even if how minor they are how big they are the feeling of achieving something is great and maybe you just need that to make you feel good 
Whatever makes you feel good, do that. Go do something that makes you feel good today. That's why you beat depression. Go make yourself feel good. I just want to sum up living with uh, shame and guilt and regret and all that bad stuff. Um, you know, like I've said, you know, living better and proving people wrong and regaining trust are all great things, you know, to help you move on from that, from, from all the bad mistakes you've done. But at the core of it, really, everything, everything happens for a reason. You are where you're meant to be. All that stuff was meant to happen for some odd reason. I don't know why, but maybe you learn from it. Maybe you get stronger. Maybe something great happens down the line that wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been an addict and got better. I mean, those things were meant to happen, and that's just accepting that once you find acceptance that those things happened and there is no possible way you can change the past no one can yet i i certainly haven't figured out uh time travel or bending time or changing i don't know i i don't think it's going to be figured out so you just need to accept that you can't change the past nothing you do will change what happened and all you can do is make your future better and make your family's future better and make everyone around you's future better. That's all you can do. So once you find, get to that peace and tranquility of acceptance, you know, you're, you relax, you're not as anxious, so you, you calm yourself down, you don't try too hard, like we're here, you're now alive and you got your whole life to gain back trust and do all that and so that's 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 a great thing that's uh, that's something terrific you get to now regain a relationship with your family friends you know and that, that'll be a beautiful thing to go on that journey and and you are here and alive to do that so that's something to make you feel good no matter what you made it through addiction and you're here and alive to make to gain back that trust you get a chance to gain back that trust you're not dead you can't never gain back that trust so now you get that chance and just accept it, it happened for a reason. I, I like to, I believe so much in everything happened for a reason and I'm actually meant where I was always, right now I'm where I'm meant to be and you know, I believe that everything is meant to happen, you know, along your lifeline, you know. So if you became an addict and you know, you did a bunch of bad things for some reason you were supposed to do them and hopefully you learn from them, you learn from those mistakes and you become a better person, a stronger person, maybe start helping people, kind of like I I am trying to do. I mean, uh, you know, I'm a minor, minor person who does this, but, um, you know, I, I enjoy it. I found that I now am meant to other to help other people get out of this hell. So that's what maybe my, my struggles were meant for. And you just gotta find why yours were meant to happen and it'd be different for everyone i'm sure but you'll find the reason it was meant to happen and you'll be a better person for it stronger more into intelligent in life or your life experiences will you know it builds character you know your life experience it was take you all over the place and you're you're stronger and if you beat addiction you are a strong person mentally physically to you're a strong person you know definitely mentally and yeah, depression and it's the shame and guilt and remorse is going to eat you up. But just accept that you can't change it. You cannot change what happened. You can't change the past. There's no way it's going to happen. So just, just make your future better. That's all you can do. Make you have a better future. Make a, your family's future better. Your friends. Just have a, enjoy a great life now. But, you know, make up for the things you've, you've done in the past, however you can, financially, just being there, just hanging out, building a relationship with your family and friends. Maybe they don't want money back, they just want to hang out with you uh, a couple times a week. Do that, do whatever they want. Make up for what you did wrong, for sure, however you can, but just accept it and move on from it. Find peace with it and just do better. Learn from it and just do better in the future. That's all you can do is now just accept it and just move on and do better next time and be a better person for you, your 